hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn about the if conditional statement in python now if you have already gone through many programming languages like c c plus plus or java and if you are thinking of skipping this part then i would not recommend it because the if statement in python is somewhat different to if statements in other programming languages so what i would recommend you is that even if you are a beginner or even if you know some programming languages like c c plus plus or java but you are learning python for the very first time then please go through these tutorials as there are some minor changes in python so now let's go ahead and learn about the if statement so if statement as in any programming language is actually used to make a decision depending upon a particular condition so let's take a real world example to understand if statement in much more depth so let's say uh, you want to go out for shopping if there is no rain so what you do is that you check a condition if there is rain outside or not so if there is rain then you will not go outside and if it is not raining outside then you will go outside so what you did there is that you basically made a logical decision depending upon a condition so the condition was that was it raining or was it not now in case of python or any programming languages if statement does a similar job so instead of you making a decision here here the computer makes a decision depending upon the condition so without wasting any time let's go ahead and write a simple program which allows you to determine if a person is an adult or he is not an adult uh, depending upon his age so before making a judgment that if a person is adult or not we actually need his age so let's type in a code to accept the age of a person so we type in age as we are going to save the value of age into age variable and then we type input and here we type in enter your age now what this is going to do is that it is basically going to accept the age and store it into the age variable but as i earlier mentioned the value which is stored in the age variable is in the form of strings now you actually need to convert this string value into integer value and we have done something similar in the previous coding challenge so what we need to do is that we could type in age equals integer and here you could type in age so this is going to convert the integer value and it is going to store it into the age variable now there is a better way of doing this so instead of typing this additional line of code what you could do is that you could simply delete it and simply cut this line because we actually need it and here itself type in integer and in brackets you simply paste the line to accept the input so what this will essentially do is that it is going to accept the age value convert it into integer and then save it into the age variable so by doing this we reduce a line of code in our program so once we have the age value now we actually need to make a decision depending upon the person's age so for this we use the if statement so we type if age so as we want to make a decision upon the age we specify age in the condition so we type if age is greater than or equal to 18 so what we do is that we specify a condition like if age is greater than or equal to 18 that means we want to say that the person is an adult now after we specify a condition in python what we need to do is that we need to mention a colon right over here now in many programming languages what you could do is that after typing in the if condition you could go somewhere over here like down below somewhere here and you could easily type in some code over here but in python what you need to do is that you need to go right over here and you have to leave a space of tabs over here because the thing is that in python python highly recommends indentation and this is what is called as indentation so basically after writing the if statement we indent the line of code and we are going to start the next line of code from here so the code which is written after this line is actually the code which is going to be executed if this condition turns out to be true so if age is greater than 18 that means we want to say that you are an adult so we type in print and simply type in you are an adult and now 
whatever line of code you are going to type in here is actually going to get executed if this condition turns out to be true. Now what if the age of a person is less than 18. So in that case we have something else which is called as the else statement. So here you need to actually go back rather than typing the code here. So you need to type in else and you need to start typing the code from here. So once you hit enter your cursor will automatically be placed over here and you actually need to start writing the code from here. So if you go back over here you cannot actually write in the code here because that won't be included in your else statement. So what if the age of a person is not greater than 18? That means we need to print out that the person is not an adult. So we type in print and here you could type in you are not an adult and that's it. So once we are done with this, we are almost done with our program. So as you could see, we have error line over here because we actually need to have a space here. And as you could notice that as soon as we have a space there, our error gets resolved. Now let's go ahead and try to run this code and see if it works. So enter your age. So let's say my age is 11. And if we hit enter, as you could see, it displayed the result as you are not an adult. Because what happens is that as we have entered the value of age to be 11, so it is going to check this condition. So is age greater than or equal to 18 so indirectly it is asking that is the value of 11 greater than or equal to the value of 18 so this is not the case so in that case it will skip this line and it will jump on to the else and it is going to execute this line of code now what if we again run this code and let's enter the value of age to be 31 so if we hit enter as you could see it says that you are an adult and this is because if you enter a value of age to be 31, this value is going to be 31. It is going to check the condition like is 31 greater than or equal to 18 and it is actually greater than 18. So in this case, this line of code which is written inside the if block is going to get executed and not this one. So that's basically how an if statement works in Python. So that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys understood how the if statement works in Python. And the important thing to note here is that you need to have a colon right after you specify the condition in if statement. And after the colon, you need to hit enter once and your cursor will be prompted in this position right here. And you actually need to start writing your code from here. So you cannot go back because if you go back somewhere like this, as you could see, you are going to have an error and your program won't run properly. So you need to have a space of a tab on your next line in the if statement. So if again you want to include another line, you could just go down and you need to start writing your code from this line right here. So that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys understood the significance of if statement.